New at six, if I asked you who the typical food pantry client is, what would you say? Well, chances are most of us have preconceived ideas of who that person is. And as we continue our Share Your Holidays to Eliminate Hunger campaign, we examine tonight some of the myths surrounding whom the Second Harvest Food Bank serves through its partner agencies. Welcome. <laughs> As a 15-year volunteer at Sun Prairie's food pantry, okay, I'm just going to calculate your points here. Allison Peterson sees the faces of those struggling with hunger every day. Oh yeah, you see all diversities, and they just needed a little bit of a break. So you help them. Nobody is shunned here. Nobody is looked upon as being different. We will do the best we can. You always want to give back to the community what you can. So. And it puts a smile on my face <laughs> to see I can help. You have a wonderful day. Last year, Allison, the food pantry volunteer. We've had 27 people so far today. Became a food pantry client. I'm out of cornflakes. My position at work has been eliminated. I was one of the people that volunteered and hoped for the best. And, and then when I found myself unemployed and it was like, okay, it's my turn. Take the turkey brown. She now lives with her daughter and granddaughter, trying to make ends meet. It's for everybody that needs it. And I know everybody needs a little help once in a while. I'll take some oranges. Honey bunches, turkey roast. Many of the people we serve are actually trying to stretch what they have as long as they can. And they need help that last three to five days of the month to make ends meet. So they're not making a decision whether to buy food for their family or pay their utilities or their rent. She's just like that. Dan Stein runs Second Harvest Food Bank of Southern Wisconsin. They're busier than ever, keeping area food pantries stocked with food. The partner agencies that we work with is they're serving more people than ever before, and the faces that they're seeing, many they don't recognize because they're much different than they've been before. He says, forget the preconceived notions you might have. More often than not, those facing hunger are people just like Alice. Oh, look at all the goodies over here. One of the biggest misconceptions out there is that people who go to food pantries, they're all homeless. That couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, fewer than one in 10 of the people who utilize Second Harvest Food Bank and its partner agencies is homeless. 75% of those getting help from food pantries locally have at least a high school education. 93% are U.S. citizens. Two of every three people using food pantries are white. And more than half have at least one working adult in the household. Sliced bread, buns, Bakery. Stein says if you volunteer at a local food pantry like he has, you might be surprised who comes through the door. It happened to be one of my neighbors. I happen to live in a nice area of town, so I was very surprised to see someone I recognized. Open the door and say, welcome. <laughs> Allison knows all too well how quickly the tables can turn on anyone in this economy. Just because I'm unemployed doesn't mean I'm unworthy. Everyone's worthy. Looks like I have a helper today. She's grateful for the opportunity to help others and for the help she receives herself. It's a godsend. It's, it's very heartfelt to know that there's the community is looking out for me as much as they are for others. And we really do want to thank Allison for sharing her story. And we also need to stress you do not have to be a volunteer like Allison to receive food from Sun Prairie's food pantry or other food pantries served by Second Harvest Food Bank.